Stoke's loading a Stobart wagon with biomass for Jenkinson's. Um, they've done what the usual trick where they ask for one load and then send two wagons. It's a bit annoying because I want to keep a bit of a stock on for winter. But they're here so we'll, we'll let them have it. But I'll have to tell them to not bother. Because the price must be going up or the weather getting colder the way this is turning up for them now, unannounced. It's off. <laughs> It's a bit fucked that pallet. 30 grand you say? <laughs> How clever is that? If you drop it, that turns red. Maybe it's been put on an angle. They move. Just emptying uh, one of the drying floors that's got a um, dry wood chip in it. Turn the lights on, you'll see better. So, super dry chip out here. You get about 800 kilos in the bucket full, and then uh, give it a shake so it doesn't spill over a lot of the drains, and then load it up onto the silage trailer. And Andrew's going to drop it off for a guy that has a biomass boiler for eating lots of different things. So, um, this will keep him warm for a few weeks, I would have thought. If this this full sort of load so it's quite springy so we put it in and like pat it down so i've got about eight or nine ton on there now just pat it down flat now so it doesn't blow off job done looks a proper load that I'm quite impressed you can get ejector trailers that are supposed to squash it and get it in tighter but um it's quite expensive and last time we tried off we couldn't get them to draw it the uh the tally handler squash it well, uh, might try another one anyway. Let's see. Laura, after this is. Now found another well at the back of the house. Uh, Terry's levelling up the garden, building all the soil up, getting it right. And uh, found the well when we backed over up the trailer. Just taking the scarecrows for a walk around the yard because uh, we've got a lot of wheat going out and they were parked in the wheat shed. So I'm just going to move them onto one of the drying sheds just out the way. Uh, we're still keeping them in case we end up doing something with them but with the weather being so bad now and Covid and stuff it was a bit of a shame really we didn't really get much chance to to do many things with the, with the scarecrows and with the environment easy not looking after them pumps it meant that we lost two weekends of, of what we could have had people pump, uh, not pumpkin picking um, scarecrow trail and sweet corn and potato picking so I'll just stick this in the shed now, I better put my phone down before I uh, damage something. Wagon here now for a load of feed wheat. Uh, got them for lights. It's like the Coca-Cola advert. Holidays are coming. I'll uh, quickly load him up now. Get him on his way because the mill's running out. Is that main beam now? Yeah. Yeah. Standing from the works. Can't see it. Jesus. So when you stand here, it just wrecks your phone. <laughs> yeah, it's matching with the old, with the old uh, oak log. Out of the salmon, a bit of log rustling. 